find some of our best and brightest at the University of New Mexico. And there is one young woman who is not only bringing a different perspective to campus, but she's also showing us the true potential of hard work and determination. Tommy Lopez explains why she left Africa to pursue her dreams right here in the land of enchantment. Ruth John Daqua is one of many University of New Mexico students experiencing life in the U.S. for the first time. How do you make that decision to come to America? It has always been on my mind since I was a kid. What is it about America? Why come here? I love America. I love America, yes. What about it draws you in? For me, I've always seen United States as the land of opportunity, that once you get here, you have many opportunities ahead of you. So it's only a matter of putting in your best as you can do and getting good motivation to yourself and, yeah, you eventually make it here. It's the American dream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're living it. Yes. Yeah. She was born in Ghana and lived there until this past October when she got on the largest plane she'd ever seen and started a new chapter in her life. So what's it been like? It's been a couple of months. Just just life. What has life been? Yeah, life has been good. The challenge I'm facing now is the weather. Because as compared to Ghana, Ghana, was hot. Ghana is hot. Her uncle is here too, from Ghana. He now works at Intel. That's why she picked New Mexico. Like many 18-year-olds, she's trying to fit in, but Ruth is special. She's not a freshman or a senior. She's doing something extraordinary. She is a PhD student in a doctoral program for electrical engineering. Graduate school is not, I wouldn't say it's an easy one. It's a tough one, but... It's just a matter of putting in your best. Ruth started school when she was just a year and a half old. She skipped some grades, began high school at age 10, then studied math for an undergraduate degree at a university in Ghana. There is discipline in my family when it comes to studies. So, in fact, my life was all about studying. Yeah, I didn't get the time to play around with other peers. She says her dad is a high school physics teacher back home. Her mom owns a grocery store. They were certainly strong examples to follow. Every time I tell my dad, he, he motivates me. Yes, he always tells me never to give up. Giving up is not an option. She's always been younger than her classmates, but she says she doesn't feel intimidated only motivated. Were there challenges kind of making yeah, friends? Yeah, sometimes because they were older than me, I felt it was kind of difficult. You didn't have the typical college experience. Yeah. Did you? Ruth says she hasn't seen much of New Mexico just yet. Her focus is on school and finishing her program in four to five years. What do you think you'll do after the PhD program? Yeah, I hope to work at NASA one day. NASA? Yeah. She's not sure whether she'll go back to Ghana one day, but she talks to her parents on the phone a lot. Perhaps the best lesson she's learned she's learned from them. Everyone has the potential to succeed. And Ruth says on her to-do list is to go up in the Sandias, go to Balloon Fiesta this year, and she finally wants to try out that green chili that everybody talks about. So, oh, yeah, Ruth is, do she's it all, got Ruth. it going on. That's right, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, I, I'm really excited for her to Isn't experience all those things. Yeah. Very cool.